Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in Critical Legends, I'm making a video on the Lord of Eternity. I'm going to show you both how to get it and also some of my favorite class builds with it. So, step one of attaining it is finding the Black Market. The BM tracker is very helpful, but otherwise you have to run around the map until you find this green guy at the green bench and you have to hope that he sells you the Crown of the King because he has several different items that he can sell and it will not always be this. Anyways, it costs 100,000 gold. All you gotta do is buy this and put it in your active slot and then activate it. And this is gonna give you King Tier 1. Once you have King Tier 1, you wanna make your way to the Punky Sky. You wanna find the green boat, go on the green boat, and then make your way to the Void, which is in this forest area here. And then you have to kill the Void Eye. Once you kill the Void Eye, he should drop you a Void Ticket. Once you get a Void Ticket, all you gotta do is put it in your active slot and then activate it as well. And this is gonna give you the Void King, which is basically King tier 2. Once you hit level 250 and you have the Void King, you then need to go to the Samurai Island, which is at this brown boat. First, you have to complete the guy's quest. Once you complete the guy's quest, you then can go to the Samurai Island. Once you're at the Samurai Island, follow the path I'm showing on screen, and you will find a quest giver. What she's gonna have you do is kill him two times. So if you guys are not aware who him is, it's like a very, very difficult boss, and you can only use one of the seven like core classes to kill him. I highly recommend using Medic. I literally killed him using Medic Tier 2 for this video. It's very, very easy in my opinion if you're using Medic, because all you do is spam heal yourself, and you will eventually kill him. Once you defeat him twice, you then get the Power Essence, and this is how you get the Lord of Eternity. All you gotta do is put it in your active slot, activate it while having Void King on, and then boom, Lord of Eternity should be there. So now let's get into the class build. So you're gonna want 800 points into damage. Now this first class build I'm gonna show is a little bit more of a glass cannon. You're gonna want Wonder Review. You're really, really gonna want a Demon God Armor or the Infernal Demon God Armor. It makes it so much better. If you have neither Demon God Armor, then I'd recommend using Soul Reaper Knife, and then I'd also recommend using Fighter Spirit the Warrior. World, but I really recommend using Wonder of You, Soul Reaper Knife, and then also Demon God Armor or Infernal Demon God Armor. Now, if you don't have Demon God Armor or Fighter Spirit the World, you could potentially use the Demon Cell for more orbs. But I really recommend having at least Demon God Armor, having at least Soul Reaper Knife, and having at least Fighter Spirit the World with this class cannon build. Now, for your actives, you're gonna want Jingle Bells, you're also gonna want Blood Shed, and then you're also gonna want Hardening. Now, since Hardening does make you immune, you could also use Dark Burn Scroll with Blood Shed and then also use Hardening, because what Hardening does is basically make you invulnerable for about 10 seconds while still giving you a 30% damage buff. So basically, with this class setup, after you put all 800 points into damage, you're getting about 3.4k to 4.2k damage with zero health, basically, and okay shield. But the reason why this class build is very effective is because if you're using Hardening at the right time and you use Bloodshed and Dark Burn Scroll or Jingle Bells, it really depends on what you want to use, you're going to kill the enemy very, very quickly with very few orbs. Now, you have like no healing with this and it is very, very risky, but it does pay off because you need like pretty much no limited items to do this class build. It's just a lot of end game items that are hard to obtain. The other class build that I wanna show off for this video is a lot safer, but it is also a little bit harder to obtain. So you're gonna want Wonder of You. You're also gonna want Infernal Demon God Armor, regular Demon God Armor. You need one of those two for this version of the build in my opinion, or maybe Soul Reaper Knife. You need one of those three or maybe Fighter Spirit the World, but if you don't have any of those, I don't recommend going going for this version of the build. Anyways, Infernal Demon God, Armor, Wonder of You, and then also HP. So you're gonna stick with putting 800 points into damage, but for your actives, instead of using Hardening and all that stuff, you're just gonna be using Jingle Bells, you're also gonna be using Bloodshed, and then you're also gonna be using Alpha Rune. This gives you an insane amount of damage while giving you a bunch of health, and is basically just a lot safer version of the other build. Now, you definitely do a lot less damage with this build, but it is very, very safe, it's a lot easier to defeat bosses because you're not going to get one shot, but if you're not using Hardening, you also don't have that invincibility window, so it's really up to you which version you want to use more. I like both of these builds a lot. I think they're a lot of fun, and I especially like the Glass Cannon build with the Hardening. I think it's just so much fun to use that class. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!